Um, well, um, for my story, I talked about how it wasn't something I actually set out to do. I kind of, you know, happened to get into it, but now that I'm in it, I mean, it just affords you so many different opportunities. I think for me, um, it makes you feel so very well-rounded um, because real estate is something that everyone is interested in and everybody has to go through in their life. They, you know, hopefully buy and sell houses or they invest or they rent. So having that knowledge, understanding homes, understanding the lending process, understanding, you know, the whole uh, selling and buying process, it just really makes you feel very well-rounded and um, knowledgeable, really. Um, and I've got gotten so much more self-confidence from having this kind of information. Um, so it's been really great. Can you tell our people a little bit about like what you did prior to real estate? I love what you did. For yeah. So I was a social worker for 16 years. My first year I did international adoption. My second year I did foster care. And then for, um, and then I did some mental health, um, work, but then 12 of the 16 years, I ended up, um, being a school social worker for Loudoun County public schools. So that was, you know, very good, re very rewarding. Yeah, no, thank you, um, for that. That's a service as well. Like that's, yeah. Um, all right. Well, tell us about like in real estate, what have been like, what's the biggest challenge do you feel in real estate for you? What has been the biggest? Um, I think for, um, for me, I think it's always just adapting and changing and, and, you know, going with, you know, technology and always trying to up your game, you know? Um, so keeping up, that's always a challenge. Um, I think another thing is just always, again, um, trying to figure out where you're going to get um, business from, right? Whether it's going to be social media or whether it's going to be from your farming or what it is, always just analyzing and trying to keep up with what you're doing and expand and grow. So I think that's the biggest challenge. That's great. You've, you have been very adaptable to all of the things. <laughs> I'm trying. Um, well, what uh, has been most rewarding for you? Honestly, the most rewarding is it's like that phone call when you call that buyer and you're like, oh my gosh, guess what? Your offer was chosen or, you know, or guess what? We just got a fantastic offer for you as a seller, you know? So um, those kinds of announcements and then on closing day, when you can celebrate with your client, give them a closing gift, everyone's hugging each other. That is a very rewarding thing. Um, that's what I was chasing after when I did social work. And it was rewarding for a while, but, you know, after a while, I didn't feel that anymore, which is why I kind of ended up switching. Um, but I found that real estate really is very rewarding because it's time limited. I think social work like just lasted year after year after year. Um, real estate was, you know, you have a beginning and you have an end and you have usually a very happy ending. So, you know, that's what, um, that's, what's been rewarding for me.